Hello, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today we're gonna help you in installing on how to install a Filipino distro called Commander Linux version 2 Bulalo. Before anything else, we're gonna go to the website first, going to our Brave browser and of course enter the Commander Linux. I think the website is commander.org. Let me see. Oh yes, it is commander.org. Try to download first, of course. You have to enter this one and then go to the download. Okay, so there it is. I'll put it in our, oh, by the way, I already did the downloading. So I have to proceed to the boxes, which is the preferred application for visualization right here in my big Linux. So I gave this test a 12 CPU plus a 8 gigabytes of random access memory virtual that is and the storage space is 50 and I have already a file right here, but of course I have to replace it with Commander Linux so that we will try to install with this ISO. And of course, let's click this one. I'll make this full screen. So you have all the options right here, live or install. So, okay, let's enter our OS as we have our grub right now. So let's try to enter and have our initial boot. All right, so this is the login. So let's try to enter our super secret password. All right, so we have our initial boot. Let's try to resolve the resolution of our display and click apply for the 1080 and keep the configuration and close it. So this is the welcome app. So the welcome app, it's still the same, of course. You have learned more right here like our LibreOffice for our complete Office suite. It is already pre-installed, including the GIMP for the GNU image manipulator program for our editing and creating our photos. We also have the vector image for the Inkscape. And for our editing videos, we have the Caden Live and for creating the 3D modeling and the animation. We have the Blender. And if you really want to run the Windows application software, you could use the Bottles. For the new right here, you could read this one. So let's close the Welcome app and proceed to the Desktop User Interface. So the Desktop User Interface, like a Windows. As you can see, it has a start menu program right here. The quick app application. We also have the notification area right here and the icons right here. Plus, we have the desktop wallpaper. So let's try to look into the desktop settings. As you can see, we have a lot of wallpaper right here. So 
So we have the Boracay Beach. We have also the what's this? Fisherman, okay. And a coastline. We have the mountains right here. Oh, this is Bohol. Oh yeah, this is Boracay. Of course, this is the farmland and the twilight. I think this is in Pangasinan or Palawan. This one, possibly it is in somewhere else. I could not pinpoint where is this. This is probably in Pangasinan. This one too, or Palawan. This one, it is just in the mountainous area. Probably Sierra Madre. Oh yeah, this is Palawan. This one too, this is Palawan. Oh, El Nido. Yeah. <laughs> right away, I know the place. This one, farmland, uh, possible, it is in Luzon, in Pangasinan. This one, of course, this is Metro Manila. Same, Metro Manila. This one, yes, this is still in Metro Manila. Yeah, this one is still in... Oh, this is Glorieta. I know this place. I really know this place. Yeah, it's still in somewhere in the Palawan area. Oh, this is El Nido. Oh, this is in Taal Volcano. Oh. This is probably in... Wait, this is Gimaras? I think so, this is Gimaras. I've been to this location. This one, of course, it's still in Palawan. Mm, pr probably it's in Boracay. Oh, I know this place. This is in the north tip of the Philippines, Batanes. Oh, still in Palawan. I know the place. Oh, UP, Campus Katipunan. Oh, yeah, this is in Metro Manila. And you have this blue type of wallpaper so it's up to you what kind of wallpaper you will use nice 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 probably I'll visit this place this is El Nido okay I'll just gonna use El Nido as my wallpaper Alright, so this is the appearance. Let's go to the settings. Let's try to see the settings. I know some of the settings has a different atmosphere. So this is the settings. You could like change the appearance at the same time. Like this one if you wanted to. Or this one. Change the icons. See? Icons change. But of course, I'll just stick with the commander appearance. Fonts will be... I'm okay with the fonts. Let's move on. So let's go to the application. Oops, did I change the appearance? Let me change it back first, okay? Okay, there you have it. So we have some application right here. Let's just use the all application, not the categorized. So 
we have games right here plus the audio mixer and editing audio plus the blender for the 3d and animation we have the brave browser at the same time we could access the internet calculator games like chess the command prompt or the terminal we have the display settings Firefox web browser Google web browser gparted for the creating and the reorganizing and the deletion of the partition even the Caden live right here plus the LibreOffice Office Suite complete okay even the Mahjong right here if you want to play uh, OBS is also right here so you could check this one out even our software center and software updates right here plus we also have the space cadet for the pinball and the steam good news the steam os linux is coming very very soon as they are thinking about like migrating to its original plan of making steam os linux as the main operating system for the steam deck so do check this one out and of course we have the vlc vlc is now capable of captionizing the ai for the close caption okay let me close that one let's proceed to the software center do we have internet let me see yes it is connected so we have the software center so the software center is trying to download the categories as this is the initial boot of our commander linux version 2 bulalo made in the philippines all right so let's try to download the just kden live okay let's try to download so kden live just click install and it will install it for you that's how we use linux apps just one click not like windows like you have to double click one click and another click something anything like click 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 right here it's just one click away all right so we have our caden live after a minute of installing so it depends on how the installation process this one is for video editing so it will take a while some of our computers last for about like two minutes to install this one but right here in my uh in my test right now in the commander linux it's very minimum it's just very easy okay let me try to download another one uh let me see do we have some educational apps right here so we have the stellarium let's try to download how much the software oh okay we have 1.3 gigabytes of download size and the installation is 492.3 megabytes so let's try to see if how many this is using the we could use the deb file but it is recommended to use the flat hub so let's try to see how many minutes to install this one
All right, so we have our five-minute installation of our Stellarium. So, I, yeah, yeah, but it's okay. It is more on pictures and moving pictures or MP. So yeah, that's okay. So that is how our installation works. So let me close this one. So conclusion. Remarks, insulation is so easy, a little bit hard, mm, let me see, probably it's a little bit hard. How do I feel it is like Windows? That is what I could like feel. How about the experience? Well, it's really like normal Windows. It's confusing. <laughs> yeah, it's confusing. How to shut down? Of course. Just like in Windows. You just go to the menu button right here. And then, right here, this is our shutdown. So, before anything else, if you have some questions, feel free to ask me. Write it in the comments down below. I'm your science computer and mathematics teacher. This is Blair. Bye for now and see you in the next episode of OS Operating System. And remember that science means knowing. That is why science is cool. Ciao. Now let's try to shut down. Shut down.